kitten internet. There's the kitten right there. Aww, she's being a very good kitten today. Of course, she's just not going to want to let my hand move when I launch RetroArch. It's been a while since I've recorded one of these. Uh, today is actually Tuesday, uh, October 13th. I haven't even launched RetroArch yet. Oh, right. Uh, that's not going to work one moment. Gotta reposition the kitty. I need to change screen resolution. Because that's the way I make this game work. I remember now. Yep, that is fine. Retro arc. Full screen. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Right, Bukini? Right. <sighs> All right. Let's get back to where we were. Fast forward some. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So, how it goes? Oh, it switched the audio on me. Well, crap. Um, here, I can make this work. Audio output, you are instead going to grab from the USB headset and... Okay, now it's working. Um, looks like that one actually is my most recent save. I don't remember where I was. I really wish I could show all of that, but I can't because... Oh, because copyright flags. Um, let's see. Let me open up everything else. All right, there we go. Sorry, like I said, it's been a while and I had to go reload everything. Um, my computer's not really having problems. There was a program that I used to um, manage various windows, locations, and so on. And that was actually the thing that was causing every single window of my computer to think that they're on top. All right, I am here. All right, so I've collected the three data tablets, and I need to go to Maria Bull Castle, apparently. That's right. I remember what I was doing. Okay, how are you? I'm in a little weird spot, but that's fine. <clears throat> we now have all three data tablets. Now how can we get the information from them? The tablet's protective encryption is very difficult to break. That's right, they have encryption. Cool. Well, I want to take them to the Selge region for analysis. I'm not sure how this is supposed to be said. Selge? Selge? Kinda wish I knew how it was pronounced in Japanese. Let's see if I can find it out. Hold on. So, I mean, I'm already starting this on a great start, so I might as well just... Can I Google... <laughs> Very first hit is somebody doing a Let's Play that do immediately mentions, don't ask me how to pronounce this. Cool. I have absolutely no idea how I'm supposed to pronounce it. However, there are people with that name. Um, 
they renamed themselves cool that didn't help at all oh well i'm not gonna worry too much about it yep i've got nothing on how to pronounce it okay anyway i want to take them to the salt region for analysis um Selge technology will be able to open the tablets. The problem is getting to Selge. We can't take the Valeria Chateau because there are no lending pads. Yes, and there are no overland or sea routes to Selge. Selge. Wait, Loka, aren't you from Selge originally? Yeah. I came here using a teleport gem. Didn't quite work, though. Can we analyze the tablet some other way without having to go to Selge? Uh, uh, wait a moment. Somewhere near Demsen City is a tunnel for transporting coal to Selge, isn't there? Go to Demsen City and ask the miners there. They speak brusquely, but deep down they are warm-hearted. I'm sure they will help you. Well, shall we go look for the tunnel? Or, let us go look for the tunnel, shall we? Oh boy. I give you a new mission. Arms, make haste to Demsen City, and from there, to the Selge region. Get any information on Odessa you can from the tablets. I am counting on you. Yep. So we need to go to Damson City. Easiest way to do that is to teleport. Just making sure Ashley was actually uh, forgetful. Now we actually have to go to Gunner's Heaven. Welcome, stranger. Y'all want something to drink? How about the berry belly, berry berry, berry barry chili noon? Why am I having problems saying that? Oh. Sure, seem thirsty enough. Want to hear good gossip? Northeast of Damson City is a strange building, I hear. You seem like you might be interested. That was not useful. I think this might be the person I need to talk to? Yep. To get to the cell region from here, Mount Chug Chug's underground tunnel is the best bet. King Mariable really said that? He really did. Huh. Mount Chug Chug's dead now, so we all, we all thought the king had abandoned us. So he still remembers us. Well, I'm glad to be of use again. Especially like this. We Damson City Miners will do anything to help you. We'll fight together. First, we'll have to free the tunnel. Bring this. It's proof from the King of Mariabool that I am the top man at Mount Chug Chug. Boss symbol acquired. That's actually what we needed here. Time to go to Mount Chug Chug. If only I remembered how in the world to get there. Also, I have no idea what was going on with my accent. Just, just go with it. All right, Mount Chug Chug was over here, I think. Oh, right, I actually need battles. What the hell am I doing canceling battles? Yep, there's Chug Chug. Can we actually even see? Oh no, gobs! Can Tim one shot him with a melee attack? Yep. Gobs of gobs! You see? My theory's right. It drops your hit points down to 110. No matter what, or increases them to 110. I guess I'll heal. Healing! Yay, healing! 
765. Let's take a look at Loka's magic rating. Because I bet that she would have, let's see, that would be 765 times 2 is 1530. So I bet she has 153 sorcery right now. That's my theory. Hundred fifty three sorcery. So healing is the uh, crest magic at least is the exact same set of stats that it was in Wild Arms One for healing. It's definitely not the same formula for the other type of magic though. So remember that doorway that we encountered before? Let's ignore the scary thing sitting there. Transport tunnel to the salvage region. Entry prohibited to all those without the boss symbol. Well. Good thing we just got it. Now we can enter. New magic. Or magic. Music. Am I even... Yeah, I am injured. That's right. Wilco took that really nasty hit. Shriekers can do bad things, so I'm going to take that out first. Okay, yep, they're regular enemies. I couldn't remember. As in, they're not leveled up or anything. Don't mind Tim casually doing four figures of damage. He's the only member of the party who can do that, which is very weird for me to say. Given that Ashley's usually doing five-digit damage at this point of the game. There wasn't any place for me to go, right? Yeah. right now. Tool Freeze Rod acquired! Freeze Rod is used uh, for use by Lilka. If you press square with the Freeze Rod, your magic will turn into a bolt of ice that can be fired. You'll be able to extinguish the purple flames and freeze certain objects. Yep, we have Lilka's second tool. Which is basically the same as the first tool, but different element. Oh, damn it, I'm in the habit of canceling battle. This, on the other hand, is dead or alive. The bayonet cartridge for use by Ashley. It'll definitely deliver the enemy an instant death attack. That would actually be more efficient for him to use than anything else at this point. I really don't know why they give you the item in your inventory when you can't do anything with it. And they don't do that for uh, Brad. I don't know. At entering and re-entering re cleared out all of that. Puzzle complete. Now I can walk forward. Alright. Wrong Wrong angle. Wrong. Oh, that didn't work. I know what I need to do. Let's try that again. Yep, 
go ahead and jump down. Oh, there's... Actually, is there anything in here? No, okay. Speaking of... No, okay. I need to push this into the right spot first, or pull in this case. Really? These camera angles, let me tell you, they are the best. See, this is why I tend to not like 3D games, is because camera. That's why I'm actually perfectly fine with first-person perspective. I don't like third-person 3D. Which has made it difficult, because Breath of the Wild is my favorite game, even though it's third-person 3D. I love it despite of its problems with camera. Oh, there's loot here, at least. That, that, that's the only loot, really. Vacuum on. Vacuum on? They're vacuum cleaners. Look at just heal yourself. Brad, punch one in the face. Tim. Latin in the other. Wait, no. Latin is the thing that would be good against water, not flying. I'm thinking Pokemon. <sighs> Lightning! Zap! Oh, no. I still weak against lightning. Cool. Gained a revive fruit. That almost sounds useful. Anyway, there's not really much to this part of the dungeon. It's just kind of a straight shot for the most part. I'm just collecting these because I can use more healing. More free healing, I should say. Yep, I am going to grab that. Migrant hack. That is probably for Brad. No. Ah. For Ashley. Get that defense up, because we really need to increase his defense. There's still loot here. The heck are you? A cave Taurus. Cool. Cave tourist, you look like you'd be weak against Vortex. You're weak against Brad. And in case if it's not dead yet, Rock Dolt it. Actually, Rock Dolt probably would heal it now that I think about it. But it doesn't matter. Luca with the four digit hit for the first time. I was right, no, Brad was the first one with four digits. That's right. That makes more sense. I mean, Ashley's still normally the first one, but whatever. We're doing a low level run. That's all that matters. Ooh, our first duplicator. You know what that means. It's time to open up all those dupl- We've only seen like one duplicator thing. Just realized I have not save stated. Oh, I could have just walked. Right, they actually did fix the item duplication glitch. There's a different one for Wild Arms, too. I don't remember what it is now. Duplicators aren't anywhere near as common or as needed in... Oh, I'm actually dodged. It's gonna attack. It's gonna do zero damage. I kind of feel bad for it. Bum, 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 bum. It's also weak against fire? Is it just weak against all elements or something? I should probably scan one the next time I fight, if it even comes to that. Okay.
right. Ah. Not the direction I wanted to do. That's the direction I wanted to do. And push. Oh. I can't walk through there? Apparently not. That's... Huh. That's dumb, but okay. There. Like I said, dumb, but I guess. Whatever. No bleeps. Oh, that's right, I'm not even injured. It's just it's shiny and I want to collect it! I just had another quick meal, and we're in the Selger region. I had another quick meal short time ago. Finish watching Clear Skies. Welcome to the Selj region. They are Arctic. One of the prettier areas in the game, in my mind. Ah, everything's bouncing so much. This is loading in textures. And the upscaler is having problems. So the Selj region is actually fairly dangerous at this point of the game. Flare tees. I remember there's something weird about those, and I don't remember what it was. Anyway, we're in flame territory. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Death did. Frigid. Oh. They attack with magic. Luckily, they attacked Ilka, who has relatively high magic resistance. I think Tim's the only one with higher magic resistance. Red Butte. You're dead. Ooh, I learned Submerge, which means I can change what is equipped on Tim now. Neat. I had Stull Dark. Tim's going to have increased attack for a brief period of time. So can I spot where it's going to be? I'm going to guess in the middle of this. Wow, these textures were not very kind. It's a little cave. So, if any of my players are watching this and are wondering where in the world I got the idea of the city of Sincilia having a teleport place to its own pocket dimension, and the city itself is in the pocket dimension, this is where it comes from. So this is Lilka's hometown? A town that's inside the force field. How amazing. Yeah. Come on, we've got to hurry up and get those dead tablets analyzed. There's no time to lose, let's go. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, let's go right now. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? You seem nervous. Why don't you leave the tablets to us and go say hello to everyone? Ashley with no clue whatsoever. No, no, that, no, no, that's okay. Thanks, anyway. This is important. Hi, I thought you looked familiar. It's you, Loka. I challenged you to a contest, but you stood me up, you runaway. What? I didn't know that, Loka. Tim, you've literally been in Loka's presence for like all of two days. At most. Probably more like half an hour. Oh, so you ran away from home, eh? How shocking. What will the people say? <laughs> or... Oh, sorry to disturb you, boo. No, you've got it all wrong. I didn't run away from home. I'm just wandering the earth to perfect my fighting skills. 
you leave home without permission, then it's running away. Yeah, but... Alright, that's enough. Don't get into an argument here. Uh, let's see. Excuse me, I haven't introduced myself yet. His name is Terry. I had remembered nothing about Terry. Lilka and I were in the same class. We're mm, friends. Hmm. Lilka's gonna die of dissing Terry, isn't she? Wait, no. Friends? Being friends with a creep like you? <laughs> in your dreams. You're just a big jerk. How dare you? You're always so stuck up just because you got good grades. You were always trying to hit on me. And then, when I finally get a better test score than you, you challenge me you challenge me to a spell showdown. Like I said, you're a big jerk. Come on, knock it off. We didn't come here to argue with people. We came here to undo the spell that's protecting the data tablets. We need to see your top scientist. <sighs> Sorry about what happened. I recommend that you go to Mr. McGregor's classroom. I'll go ahead of you and explain the situation. I'll see you at the classroom later on. My challenge still stands. So don't try to run away, Loka. Oh, oh. <laughs> see, he's not a bad person. A little arrogant, but still. <laughs> yeah, it's... This is something that's not aged well. Uh, as Sam DeLev liked to put it, historical... It's the historical archives. Um, that was harassment. And Ashley's being dismissive of it. I don't like that. Anyway. Welcome to the Soldier Region. Oh, good day. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to sound geeky. It's just that we have to say good day at school the rule. We have to say good day instead of hello or whatnot. The inn is a lucky day. We don't need to stay at no stinking inn. We like our status effects the way they are. However, I will partake in the memory service. Been playing for 28 minutes. Just feels longer. Personal skills give you a thrill that magic can't touch. Why don't you guys upgrade your personal skills? Because I'm full. Technically, Tim could actually pull one off, but. I know I came to buy something, but I can't remember what. What was it I needed again? Items are handy to have, but they don't last forever, you know. Stock up on some now. Nah, I'm good. All of the item shops are in one spot. Forget about magic. Up close combat calls for weapons. You guys equipped for it? Ah, yes, the gay parasol. I am certain that they mean happy in this case. Otherwise, um, what's, hmm. What would a parasol be attracted to? Arm upgrade shop. Well, at the very least we need to reload. Dispel or Reflect. We'll go with Reflect. <sighs> Alright. We've got some extra money. We can upgrade some things. Uh, let's see. 
probably didn't need to upgrade Ashley now that I think about it, because I'm probably not using him for a bit. But I'm going to have to level him up at some point. And the reason why I have to level him up is that we're going to encounter a boss that I need to be a minimum of level 9 to fight. So now it's not a bad time to do that, but eh, it's fine. Actually, this is probably fine. I'll save money. I am not going to be really poor for very off very often in this game. Alright. So, if this place starts looking a little familiar to you... Oops. I remember why I don't like this place. Zephyr's Hurry is right ahead, up ahead. Go take a look! Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go exploring. Zerbatory is the pride of Selge. Selge. I'm gonna say it different every time, aren't I? It's magnificent, yes? Uh, no, I haven't actually had a chance to look at it. Irving and I studied together. We use this. We both use this telescope. Still think of him as a friend. So if there's anything I can do, just let me know. Irving's a dick, but apparently not to this one person. The only person in the game he's not a dick to. I swear. Um, that also show. Really? You're seeing what I'm seeing, right? I never noticed, because I always just kept the camera like this, and went, oh, it's just a strange looking telescope, that's fine. And never went to a portrait or diagonal where it's, that's a giant revolver. What the hell, Selge? What the hell? So here's a sign that Irving's been here, and actually did a lot of research here. It's interesting. This room should start looking slightly familiar. Always. As soon as the teacher leaves, they all start goofing around. They're so immature. Huh? I was awake, I was awake, I was just resting my eyelids. I thought you scared me, I thought you were the teacher. Just when I was finally fell asleep standing up. Pretty sure that's the person I need to talk to, so I'm not doing that. A while ago, I saw a huge flying object. It came from the direction of Mount Chug Chug. Must have been one of those relics. Mm. Hope whoever has it doesn't use it for evil. Things looking a little familiar yet? I don't blame you if you don't notice because there's been a bit of a graphical difference. That accident wasn't the teacher's fault. Why does he always blame himself like that? A while ago, a female student died during an experiment on a new magic spell. I feel responsible. Hmm. They don't say anything different to... The sister have said, Ooh, sword and spell's effectiveness. Do you want to read it? The effectiveness is a spell is determined by the sorcery level of the person casting the spell. Thus, a given spell will be more effective when it's cast by someone with a high sorcery level. To make a spell more effective, you can temporarily boost your sorcery with equipment or a medium. Now remember, equipment and mediums when used to boost magic powers confer only borrowed abilities. Neglect your training in magic and it will all come back on you. So yeah, he is totally referring to Lilka's sister. Yep. Things look a little more familiar yet? Oh, hi, Lilka. It's been a while, girl. All me, you know, the usual. Been hanging around here at my favorite spot. Right here. When I stare into this, I feel like I'm being sucked in. 
same time, it seems so familiar to me. So, if you haven't figured it out yet, this is Kirin Abbey. The Selge region is literally Kirin Abbey. Things are a little redecorated and a little reorganized. I can't believe they let you into the special unit. You probably got in because you lied and said you're the Iliac witch girl, right? Oh, there's McGregor. Terry has already briefed me on your situation. Let's get started immediately. I didn't want to. I was wanting to search more. Empathite based communicator? Oh, we must project it. Go ahead, put on the projector. You know, that projector. I will now explain what I did. I shall endeavor to be brief. All three data tablets were shielded by an amazingly strong protect spell. Impressed even me. So apparently the protect spell is also a form of encryption. But this presented a challenge to me as a scientist, for I... Um, you said you were going to be brief? Oh, oh, yes, quite right. As I was saying, the data tablets contained information on the location of Odessa's hideout. But they are damaged, and a full analysis will take a little longer. Yes, I'd say about one more day should do it. As for Odessa's hideout, it would appear to be located at a massive energy plant. Data in the tablet suggests some sort of high-quality energy refinement operation. Why would they choose a place where they would risk being blown to bits in the event of an accident? I believe there's something at the plant that makes it worth the risk. Ashley, for once, not carrying the dumbass stick. I mean, idiot ball. To come to the point, Odessa requires a massive amount. Requires massive amounts of energy. <clears throat> This is our chance to finally get the drop on those terrorist pigs. We'll launch a surprise attack and put that plant out of business. Well, that's a very bold plan, Irving. Huh, I see. A surprise attack. We'd finally be able to put them on the defensive. Mm, I can't get as low today. Sorry. But we have to pinpoint the co plant's coordinates first. Yes, well, as I was saying, I need one more day. Can't get any different additional information out of the tablets without more time. Okay, McGregor. We're counting on you. Suggest that you get some rest before tomorrow. You've got a long day ahead of you. Okay, everyone, get to your quarters. I don't want to. <sighs> Shutting down the energy plant must mean blowing it up. So I've got just the thing for that. Lilka! What do you want? Um, this is just too dangerous for you. I think you should drop out. Your magic isn't advanced enough. You can get hurt. Or worse. I, I don't want to see that happen. You don't have to worry about me. I've done all right so far. I know my grades aren't up that hot, but I do well under pressure. The only time I ever got better test score than you is in an actual spellcasting test, right? a chance you might not make it back. I... Besides, you won't be able to take up my challenge. You have to accept that you're not as good as your sister. Oh, I hate you. Ashley. Hey, Ashley. Uh-oh, what do you want this time of night? I mean, you can tell by the paintings that it's nighttime. I need you to go somewhere with me. It won't take long. Hey, what gives? Drag. This place is really something, eh? It takes your breath away. Those enemies should look awfully familiar to people who saw my run of Wild Arms 1. Or just knows Wild Arms 1. I just love this place. So exciting, a midnight trip to the Museum of Wonders. Coming here at this time of night reminds me of someone very important to me. My sister and I used to sneak in here all the time. We're always together, my sister and I. Loved her so much. What do you mean, 
loved. All of Salji was sure she had a bright future ahead of her. But there was an accident during a magical artifact experiment. She... She... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. When they told me she wouldn't pull through, I was shattered. I never wanted to go through that kind of pain again. I decided to just never care for anyone again. Ashley, you won't leave me, will you? Huh? Ashley, I really care for you, so never leave me, okay? Well, of course I won't. None of us will. Not me, or Brad, or Tim, or even the dick. You better promise not to. Oh. They're switching back and forth between characters, but they don't have the labels. You better not promise not to, otherwise I'll never be able to care for anyone again. I, I promise, after all, you're important to me too. Hocus Pocus, Fizz Pocus! Uh-huh. It's a charm used to give you good luck and to keep a smile on your face. My big sister taught it to me. I want to be like my sister. I want to create my own charm to make people smile. <laughs> well, you can do it. I know you can. Thanks for believing in me. Well then, let's get busy. Uh, where are we going? Destroy that energy plant. I've got the perfect item for the job. Let me see that for a minute. I remember a spell bomb that sends a bomb blast between dimensions. Huh, that's strange. Look, uh, the plan was to blow up the plant, right? Yeah, why? Do you guys have a different plan? Look, huh? Hey, I didn't do anything. I can't find it anywhere. Where? the data tablets. Someone stole all three data tablets. I'm so sorry. Irving! I was briefed on what happened. Only you know who could have pulled up something like this. So apparently... Ah! Crap! And it just reloaded a whole bunch, didn't it? I dropped my controller. It's directly under my chair. Oh, let's see if I'm going to have to fast forward through things. One moment. I uh, will pause this. And back. Um, I actually had to replay that entire section. Hey. I'll move my back. There we go. I was briefed on what happened. You know who could have pulled off something like this? I need your help. Those data tablets pat ID pattern was detected moving southwest out of Zilj. I want you to begin pursuit immediately. Southwest, you say? Aha! They're gonna go through the gate bridge. So in Wild Arms 1, this was called Gate Generator. This is where we had the series of interesting encounters with um, Zed. And the first time that Zeke tried to blow us up. This bridge will take you across the gate bridge. Take it with you. I thought that we were going to analyze the tablets anyway. Wait a sec. How did they even know we were in Zilj? Could someone be feeding them information? No, it couldn't be. So, for reference, the only thing that has really changed is that I'm a little faster, one. And two, Tim has not finished learning his uh, water magic spell yet. Because I didn't have the same random encounters. Oh, I just noticed that the girl here is gone. Um, she actually made a comment about how uh, the one responsible for the Ilniac witch girl's death is her kid sister. So, Lilka. This school, the magic class is more popular than science class. 
wanted to take the magic class too, but my teacher wouldn't have any more students. I let that happen to him. So I'll stay in his class, even though I'm the only student. I'll have a little Bunsen burner there. Oh, hello! Did you come to take my science class? Oh, it doesn't matter if you're one of my students. Please, just please pay attention to science. Please. Entrance, I believe. Good day. Please be quiet while in the library. Books! Yay, books! About the mystic effect. Press sorceresses possess an ability force ability known as mystic. The only, uh, this is the ability to hit, bring out the hidden power in an item to make that item more effective. Mystic can be used for healing, such as using a heal berry to heal an entire party. There are also many other items with hidden powers in them. Many consumable items have this mystic effect, as do some types of equipment. Speaking of, I need to buy some rings. Research on combined spells. So remember when, uh, if you were watching my Let's Play for Wild Arms 1, you may remember I was trying to combine two spells together. It's Wild Arms 2 that lets you do that. Research is underway to find uh, find ways to make existing spells even more powerful, such as the back-to-back -back use of spells or the same or opposite attributes. But such techniques are unproven. Combined spells are created by every Crest Sorcerer, but their effectiveness has not been proven. If discovered, the law governing combined spells would be a major milestone in sorcery history. Every combination of level 1 spells has been tried. The only I hope is to revive the ancient level 2 spells and test new combinations with them. Gee, I wonder why there'd be level 2 spells. Monster Dragons. Much of Guild Galad's technology was gleaned from the fossils of Monster Dragons. Monster Dragons are one of Vilgaia's most unusual creatures, for they are a fusion of machine and living, breathing flesh. The dragon's living component is unlike any other being known to modern science. We have no way of knowing if they are a species native to Filgaia or a chimera created by sorcery. Ancient texts say that the dragons possess the strength comparable to that of the guardians. Ancient race of crimson nobles. Long ago, there lived a be race of beings who shunned the sun to live in the world of darkness. Yes, that was in fact a reference to the world of darkness. For reference. For reference. For reference. Called Crimson Nobles, these beings were virtually immortal, and so were also called the Immortals. The Immortals are also said to have ruled the world in their day. As with most long-lived species, there are few recorded sightings of the Immortals. Hence, many today believe the Immortals to be mere legend. I don't know about legendary. Prayer Crests. A crest is used by a crest sorcerer during the casting of spells. A crest eliminates the need for troublesome rituals, such as drawing of magic symbols. Occasionally, one will encounter a highly powerful form of Crestcraft, the Rare Crestcraft. Their names are terrible. This item supercharges a spell by boosting its impact on or making it work on a larger number of targets. So there are Crestcrafts crafts, crest crafts, that will allow you to cast an Area of Effect spell, and it's an Area of Effect version of whatever you memorize on it. If you acquire a Rare Crestcraft, think carefully about what type of spell to create. You don't really need to think that carefully. You can just make a new one. Lost Magic of the Ancients. The ancients are said to have used advanced magic that was far more powerful than what than those used today. Using ancient texts, some sorcerers are attempting to revive this ancient magic. Those texts can teach us the full profundity of ancient magic. Ancient magic is considered level 2, one level higher than level 1. If revived, this high-level magic would lead to leaps in research on the power of spells. Spells commonly known as attack spells often have attributes. The major elemental attributes are earth, wind, fire, air, water, uh, wait, sorry, earth, water, fire, wind, and lightning. Many monsters also have attributes. Some attributes can be a weakness. To maximize the damage you inflict on a monster, use a spell with the same attribute as its weakness. But a matching attributes may also make a spell attack less effective. A true crest sorceress must master attributes and always consider them when using spells. Also all of this information is like tutorial stuff, and that's because this is Kiran Abbey. 
um, teleport orbs. A teleport orb lasts indefinitely, unlike a teleport gem. It instantly takes the user to the place that the user visualizes, but it's not perfect and can only transport the user to certain places, such as a town or castle. Another problem with the item is that it sometimes transports the user to the wrong location. Infant. Gate bridge operation. How to operate the gate bridge. East side of the gate bridge, lower. West side of the gate bridge, raise. The west side of the gate bridge is off limits and is enclosed in a chain link fence. This bridge controls the maritime traffic into the Selge Inland Sea. All humans possess a special ability called Force. It is a form of psychic power. Once your Force has accumulated to a certain level, you can channel it to create your special powers. Or just morph. Because it's morphin' time. After using Force, you will be fatigued, and your remaining Force points level may be low. Take heed, because you may end up with insufficient Force to use your spells or your arm. Force can be a powerful weapon when used at the right time at the right place. Don't think. How do you do? I am called Carrion. I eagerly wait the report from Mr. Day. He was sent off some crazy... I mean, he's on assignment. I pity him. He was sent by magic to a place that can't be reached by land or sea. Poor guy. Actually, I wanted to go in the middle section, I believe. Yep, this is where we were before. The museum has so many interesting things. It's never boring. This would be a good place for a date. That girl comes to visit all the time. She's a promising young girl. Some fossils. Must consult the helix fossil, of course. So you want to know what that thing on the wall over there is? All right, I'll tell you. Skeleton of a dragon. Half machine and half living fossil, living being. Most people call them fossils. Extremely rare to find one completely intact like this. I thought there was more here. But apparently not. And this thing is the thing that drops duplicators and is hella scary to fight. And yes, they exist in Wild Arms too. Alright, there's loot that I'm missing. Where is it? <sighs> Northernmost building in town. That's where I just was. Wasn't it? Definitely north. Maybe I need to go like this. Yep, there it is. Serenade. And I have to walk all the way around to the other part. Really? cap is something you can fill with spells. With it, you can cast a spell, but only once. Back when the sky was blue, who doesn't know magic? Like you. Did you get that, or do I have to make you stay after school? How do I get that other item? that other item. Hot, but, but I want it.
That's a hat for Tim. Tim could definitely use... Uh, ow! Did because I ran the cutscene, did it... Mm. I hope that's not the case. Huh. Because that's absolutely supposed to be a piece of equipment for him. One moment, I'm gonna check something. All right, all I did was reload and check to see if I can reach that. No, I can't, so. Dunno. Oh well. Uh, we're basically at time at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and go to bed. I'm tired. Hope you've enjoyed this internet. Um, let's go ahead and save again. save in a new slot. Anyway, once more, hope you've enjoyed that internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!